Hey y'all, so right now we're getting we are getting ready to do our normal routine, which is um doing a couple of learning exercises with him. Uh what I do with him in the morning, I just have like because remember last time I said I was gonna do a routine. So I stick I stuck with that and that's what I'm doing. Here baby, here's your toy. And I have a shirt on, y'all. It's just it doesn't it just look like I don't have a shirt on. So um sorry, Cassie's screaming, but so, first thing in the morning, brush our teeth, you know, eat breakfast, and then I play like a little nursery rhyme for them. And then we do this, um, this pen control and tracing. Because he is three, and he kind of holds his, um, his pen, his marker, whatever, funny. So, I just decided like, okay, let's just work on that first. So, um, I got it from Target, and I think, I forgot how much it was. Because my mom bought it for me, so I forgot how much it truly was. But... I really enjoy um, this little book. We go, we, we um, actually go through the entire book sometimes, which is good, huh? Oh, sorry, y'all. We actually go through the entire book, so that's good. It, he likes. He, Alex is a very hyperactive um, toddler, so you really have to do things to keep him busy, or else he'll get bored and just start doing all kind of crazy stuff around the house. So um, after we do our pen control book booklet. And I give him some reinforcement time, which is um, him coloring. So I printed out some coloring sheets. He's obsessed with dinosaurs. So we do like coloring sheets. I printed out some with his name on there. Uh, I printed out some with some alphabets. Just, just little stuff for him to do. Triceratops. And then we also have um, Play-Doh. We have a lot of little things that he can do. So that's kind of, I just go with the flow. And then I um, go with his colors, his shades. His name, his age, just just little um, key elements that he should know as an almost three year old because um, it's kind of hard. Uh, he's very smart, but it's been tough with him learning like little things like his colors. He's been getting um, purple, green, and blue confused, but he knows all his other colors. So we just been kind of working on him with that and just um, you know just keeping him busy instead of always being on YouTube and stuff like that because. But before I would always just give him YouTube, just you know, here, just take YouTube and get out my face type thing. But I noticed that, huh? T Rex. I noticed that he wasn't progressing and I noticed that his speech is very delayed. So, um, we don't want that problem. So, I'm very, um, not strict but hard on him about, um, <laughs> you know, learning. And y'all probably thinking like he's only three, like, Mommy. calm down. But it's, you know, I don't want him to be having little trouble like that. So I'm gonna record y'all. I'm gonna record him. I'm gonna show y'all what I do with him. And I'm gonna show him, show y'all, uh, him going over his little booklet. So, be back. No, start right here. Trace. You're like, okay. So y'all see how he's holding his pencil? He's holding his pencil. He's holding his pencil. He's holding his pen. That's actually not correct. He should be holding his pen. Hold your pen the right way, baby. Like this. Good job. So yeah, and he gets very frustrated, so I try to stay patient. Good job, baby. So that's his chasing line right there. Okay, do this one, boo. Good job. All right, do, do the third one. Good job. Next. That's a line. You're tracing lines. Lines. Can you see y'all? He's lines, lines. So you know when you have good job. Good job. See, he's amazing at his lines. Right here, baby. Skip one. Skip one. Right here. So yeah, I'm gonna let him complete that and then I'll show y'all what he did once he's done. Yeah, so we back. And we're eating our popcorn. We took a little break because the book that I showed y'all with the tracing, I had to sit, I had to really be realistic with myself. And um he's having trouble, like I said before. Alex, we should I should mainly focus on his speech and getting that in order first. And just like reading to him a lot and just just talking to him more because he gets very frustrated because it's like he doesn't really understand what I'm telling him. So 
instead of of me getting frustrated and him getting frustrated, I figured let's just stop, take a break, and eat a snack, eat some popcorn, play a little bit, and then I'm gonna read some books to him. I'm not gonna um run him away because I'm I'm, I'm having these high expectations of him that are really unrealistic. He's only three, and he'll be three next month. So. I had to really just stop, breathe, and realize that my baby can barely formulate simple sentences. So focus on that first before jumping the gun. So right now, he loves this little activity thing. Just playing with that and eating the popcorn. Kettle, kettle corn, popcorn, huh? Mm-mm. Popcorn. 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 Pop, pop, popcorn. 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 Corn. See, when I try to like force him to express himself, he gets frustrated. Popcorn. 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 Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Mm 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 mm. 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 Mm I'll come back and show y'all us reading together and having a good day. So one thing I noticed and I learned, if you have a child who is um, kind of like a light talker or not really talking as much or it's taking a while for them to formulate simple sentences and things like that, and you read books and you talk to them, the last thing you want to do is oversaturate them with words you don't want to use like a bunch of like un unnecessary words or things where you know that well blah, blah, blah. things that you know they don't understand don't do it because all it's gonna do is frustrate you so for example um i'm trying to learn how to stop talking to him as if he's 10 he's not 10 he's three so I'll just kind of like shorten my sentences up. And even with books, oops, y'all, yeah, maybe one day I'll get a tripod or something, who knows. But even with books, like say, for example, I have this book, The Life of Jesus, right? So this book has a million words. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare read this book to him. I mean, it's good to read to your kids, period. But for somebody who needs work or needs a little extra extra help, I wouldn't read this to him. Mom. Sorry, I keep turning around checking on my girl, my baby, my baby girl. But instead, I'll use I'll um use age appropriate books, which is like small words. Not to say that he's not capable of being read a, a book with a bunch of words, but like I said, I'm trying to work on his language. I'm trying to get him to talk more. I'm trying to get him to understand what I'm saying more. So I would just use something like, this is a wonderful book. <laughs> Move, baby, let me talk. This book right here is called, Move, Alex, it's called Moo Moo Mooing. And I love this book um, a lot because it uses um sounds as well. So, like the first, the first part of the book says. Lord, I keep dropping this. So, for example, this book I'm I'm going to read to him is called Moo Moo Mooing. So, like the first page. The cows in the meadow are moo moo mooing, chomping on the green grass, chew chew chewing. So I like how um, oops, it has 
words where he can identify. So then he can see like a cow moves. And also it chews. Moo goes one cow and moo goes another. Moo, moo, moo. Go all the cows together. Moo, moo, chew on the noisy little farm. So that's, that's the type of books I would read to him because it's interactive and he can remember, hey, a cow goes moo or a horse goes nay nay. So I'm gonna skip through them and just show y'all like more. This is like a wonderful book for him. And it was a gift for his birthday. Oink, oink, oink goes the pigs. So what sound does a pig make, Alex? Oink, oink. So he's, you know, he's getting it. Mommy. And so he wants me to read um, this book. So like books like this, where it's like words and pictures. So like this is a big rig, big rig, big rig, big. This is a dump truck. So, you know, I just always get them to repeat what I'm saying. Mini loader. Tractor. Airport fire truck. So yeah, that's 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 kind of what I that's what I'm gonna start doing with him throughout the day is just reading more books to him that he can relate to and that's a, that's age appropriate so that he can start making putting putting those things together because that's the, like I feel like that's the hardest part that I'm having the hardest time that I'm having with him right now is that um since he is kind of delayed in what he's trying to say and his speech is delayed it's hard for him to understand what i'm saying it's hard for him to follow directions and it's hard it's hard for him to formulate correct sentences and it's hard for him to pronounce certain words so instead of me focusing on him writing lines and you know i'm gonna focus more on him talking and getting his speech in order and then go from there so that's like my main thing so if anybody wants to know i'm sorry I'm not a professional, I'm not a speech pathologist, I'm not a speech therapist. I'm just a mother who advocates for her kids and, and I'm very passionate about this type of stuff. So, another book that I like is called I Love You Through and Through. And like I said, these are just small, cute little books. It's nothing fancy. The words are big. They have nice pictures for him to see. Um, I love you through and through. I love your top side. I love your bottom side. I love your inside. I love your outside. I love your happy side. And I love your mad side. Your silly side. I love your fingers. Your toes. Your ears, yes. your nose. Yes. I love your hair. Uh, I love your eyes. Yeah, I, I love your giggles. <laughs> and your cries. Mm. I love you running and walking. Uh, Silent and talking. Doctor. I love you through and through. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow too. So books like that are just, I love them because it's interactive. He can kind of catch on to what I'm saying. And then like, if I wasn't recording, I would like demonstrate the book and all that. But, you know, I'm just trying to explain, you know, my point. So that's what we've been doing. And that's what I'm going to start doing more of. Um, I'm probably going to just eliminate the whole tracing and all that stuff until he gets a little, little bit more advanced in what he's trying to say. Because he is three and my baby, you know. It's, it's been a struggle. But one thing I can say, he has made some major improvements. He knows his name. He knows his age. He knows how to count to 20. Like, my baby is very smart. It's just... A lot of hard work getting him to formulate sentences and not get so frustrated and not cry so much because he uses cry as a um escape he cries a lot and he um 
he knows that if he cries, he'll probably get what he want, or you know, I'm supposed to understand what he's saying, but that's not how it works. Like, we're three, we're almost three now, so baby boy, I'm no, just like, <laughs> but yeah, so I might we might go to the library today, or we might just do something fun because I'm going out of town tomorrow and he won't see me for two days, so Mommy. that's that. Mommy. Yes. Paxton, this is Paxton. Paxton. Paige. Parker. Parker. Dedeek. Nana. Nana. Mommy. Mommy. Auntie Mir. Alex. And Alex. Okay, now you do it. Alex. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Bye, y'all. Sorry this video was so long, but I was just giving a little description of my little routine. Peace out.